Hi everybody, I'm Jeffrey Allen, a psychic and healer and medium and teacher, and I'm talking again about what's happening in 2012. Now the last six months has been really exciting to watch because as the old energy really fades out and dies on the planet, there's been a lot of chaos, both in personal lives and professional lives and financially. It looks like everything's kind of falling apart. And in a sense it is. The old energy is not fueling things or pushing things in the same way that it used to. So things that are dependent on that old energy are generally kind of having difficulty in fading. Fortunately, the new energy is just as strong. It's just a little bit different. And if you adjust the way that you're creating things and the way that you're relating to the new energy, you'll find just as much strength and power that you had before in actually a much easier way to create and manifest the things that you want. So in the old energy to be successful and to create something, really what you did is you just decided which way you wanted to go, you kind of turned your boat in that direction, and then you cranked up your third chakra. So the third chakra is kind of like the prop on a boat. You get that moving really fast, it pushes against the water, and it, the boat starts taking off in whatever direction you wanted to go. And it really didn't matter if you're lined up with something that's good for you, something that's uh, painful for you, or just in kind of a random direction. If you crank up that motor, it'll shoot you off in whatever direction you're pointed. So, and the old energy had this kind of density to it, so you could do this. You could push against it with your third chakra and motivate things to happen. And really, the person who pushed the strongest and kind of had the strongest third chakra, a lot of times, was kind of the winner or the most successful person in the old energy. Well, guess what? If you look around you, you'll notice this isn't working. Even people that were really strong with pushing are not succeeding in the way that they used to. And what's happening instead is a very different way of creating. And you can think of this as somebody that's very lucky. You probably know people like this where life goes pretty easy. Their relationships are easy. Their work is easy. Money seems to flow. Things just kind of go this person's way. So what's happening with this person? Why are they lucky and how can you be lucky too? So this person, what's happening is they're really sourcing their energy or they're creating out of the new energy. And the new energy looks much lighter rather than being like water and kind of something you can push against. It's a little bit more like air. You know, if you push against the air, there's just no, you know, it doesn't really resist. It doesn't give you a whole lot of force to, to move with. But if you tune in, kind of pause for a moment and notice uh, which way is the wind blowing rather than just you know, which way do I want it to blow? <laughs> but which way is it actually blowing? And line up with that and just kind of open up your sail. The new energy will fill that really easily and take you in that new direction. Now, the difference is that you have to follow a little bit, not lead, right? You have to trust that the universe is conspiring to create a happy life for you that the things you're asking for in the world and in your life are being planned, and they actually are, and that they're happening, and that the wind is blowing in that direction. So you have to trust that that guidance is good. And also, once you get lined up with the way things are pushing you naturally, just let it happen. You don't have to push. You don't have to try really hard. You just have to let things line up and happen. And if they're not happening for you, either you're still creating from the old energy, which is really quickly fading out and dying, or you may be just a little bit uh, confused on which is the right direction. So you may say, ah, the sail's not really opening right now. That's probably a good indication that the wind's not blowing this way. Oh, well, let's try a different way. How about if I point over here and go in a little bit different direction? Ah, sail opens up and it happens. Now, that's a very simple analogy. There's, it's a little more complicated, actually. There's also a lot of timing and things. Sometimes, even if you're pointed in the right direction for you in the future, the wind isn't blowing that direction right now. So you have to keep that in mind, especially if you're a person that likes to live a little bit in the future, as I do, that your plans and the things you're seeing may not be for right now. It might be for something a year in the future or two years in the future. So if you're trying to create it right now, you might get a little frustrated. So there's a couple hints on how to create a new energy. One, stop pushing with the third chakra. Two, 
listen to which direction the wind is blowing and go in that direction. Just point yourself in that direction. And three, if it's not working out, uh, consider maybe you've gone, pointed yourself in a direction that's not really right for you right now. But rather than getting discouraged, kind of look at when is a good time and maybe try again. If it's really the direction you want to go and it feels right, but it's not working, maybe six months later, one year later, the wind will be blowing in that direction. You have to trust that things really are organized in a way that's helping you. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much. I'm